Hello everybody, this is Artie Mays and um, I just thought I'd come to talk about what I've been doing lately with that big, that big tray I had and I've come up with a few things that were in there. Um, I could go on forever making things really so I thought I'd better stop and, and then I'll show you what I've been doing. So I, I um, this has been a challenge over at Junk Journal Junkies. So to get your stash out and make some embellishment, embellishments for your next journal. So that's what I've been doing. And this is what I've come up with. So there's um, decorate. This is the top spots mainly here. This is a, just decorate your bag. So I've done a bit of um, Mod Podge in here with an image onto the plain bag. So it's not even been coffee stain that one. And then I make all these little things up onto little round pieces in advance really usually in the color theme of the journal I'm doing next so I make a load of flowers bits and pieces up and then I can always put them on to whatever I need so as you can see I've got a bit of a theme going on around here but it's this was still all in my junk tray <laughs> which is amazing I got I just hoard so much stuff and forget to use it so anyway and um, th that was just um drew a big circle out, cut out a big circle and then just altered it a bit really to, I thought that would be a nice tuck spot and just done some decorations on it. That's one there. This is one of the tuck spots that you get in some of my kits and I make up these little little things here in advance again and then I thought oh that would go nice on one of those so you could either have it you know going sideways on the page or you could cut that down and have it a tuck spot then that way so a bit of versatility there so what I normally do with these little bits is I will make up loads of bits of paper that is lying around just sew them all together like this again with bits over from your, what you're actually working on so I've just done a few there like that and then I actually use them on here so that was that I've done so those that three then I've done um that was a die cut that I cut down, which came, comes like so, and then I just cut it down and made that one out of it. So there, what I'll do on my next video, I'll do a little tutorial, tutorial on these, so you can actually see how I've done them. But again, it's it's all quite simple, and then that was a um, decorated library card, Mod Podge, and then again embellishments I've made up in advance and then I'll just stick them on there. Another one there with a the doily and this one oh, it, was, it was all split on one end so I cut that off and I thought well this could go you know as a corner somewhere and then you've got a little tab coming down which would be quite nice. Make different layers and also I made these little bouquets up which I've got um little tutorial ready for that as well which is very easy I thought book pages and a bit of vellum and I, I had these leaves for absolutely ages so and again they these would sit nicely you know on these little tuck spots if you put that on the side of the page they would look nice so I've got a tutorial for that so that's the tuck spots and so again this is what I make up so you can you know put them anywhere you want to that's that then i've done the little hangers so i just made up some little things here on that one another one there so that was those then i've done some hearts which are here hearts there okay and all that is is a bit of cardboard from our packaging of course and I'll stick some newsprint over it or anything really over it just iggledy piggledy and then once it's dry I'll gesso over it and then I'll cut die cut those out of there and that's and I think they turn out quite nice you could actually 
in theory put a little bit of gesso over it once you finish but I haven't done that on that with those ones so that was those hearts which I think I've got a little tutorial on that one oh, and then I've done some jute ones for some butterflies which I already had the butterflies but if you're quite good at cutting out jute then you could cut some out and these are quite plain because sometimes you need plain ones to go on a fussy page you know it's quite busy and a plain one will just sort of balance it so I made a few oh, sorry might be not been in frame then so I made a few of those and another one there so that's that then I've done a load of booklets which I'll just go and get them in a minute right here are the, the booklets that I made up so just again all out of them um, scrap pieces that were lying around in my box so it could be used for to go into your journals a little inserts let's take these off this one's a glassine bag that's there that's there and just made it into a little booklet and put a stamp in all the bits lying around an envelope in the middle there no card in there. The tags are going to go in somewhere, I'm not sure where yet. Just put it there because it sort of went with the colour scheme, so I found it lying around. Thought, oh, go in there. A little pocket, sort of little mini envelope in. A little card inside. Or the... There you go. These little things actually just add a bit of detail to your journals, you know. So it's quite nice to have a day just making things up because it's I find it quite relaxing, you know, especially if you sort of organise yourself before so you know exactly what you're doing so you don't have to think too much. It's a bit like art therapy, I, I find. And then you've got the back of the bag there with the pocket in, the same as pocket in the front there. Some bits of ephemera in. I've just cut down, oh yeah, I've just done one of these, so it looks like that, and then it comes out, and you can write on it. Like so, that's that one, and then that's another bag one here. I've done little file folders in this one, and attach a little paper clip on there. It's just a bit of, bit of lace. Again, scrap card that was lying around. That's a little fire folder, and then that comes out like that. That's that one. And again, more scraps. Little pocket made there. And there should be another pocket in the back. Yep. And just a bit, bits to write on in the back there. That's that one. And another one here. I can get the string off. So. Uh, is this one bad? No, that's this is an envelope. Yeah, but I cut down and just made a little booklet out of it. So you can see it's yeah, that's an envelope. And I just machine stitch through the middle and put all the papers together and machine machine stitch it through. You don't have to have too many pages in them or else it won't go through your machine, which I found out. <laughs> Dictionary paper, yeah. And back pocket in here. There we go, and that's the back. And then I've done a tall skinny one. There we go. And covered it, covered that one with a bit of neck curtain. Looks very vintage over the top of some just scrapbooking paper there. And then um, a little tiny embellishment at the bottom. And then there, that's it. Like 
that one out. Nice little tuck spot or pocket. And I've made that place some paper and can stained. Again, all stitched down the middle. Okay. And that's the back. Okay, and that's the booklets. So I think I've got some other pockets in that that I've done as well. So um, I'll go and get, well, they're here. So I think I'm going to run out of time on my video. So I'll do a, I'll do um, a part two. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Okay, this is Artie Maze again. This is um, most probably part two, or I might join it on the end of the other video in um, YouTube itself. So we shall see. Anyway, this is um, some other bits and pieces that I've made. My junk journals, all in advance. I've done, I created some envelopes, some paper I had lying around, which again, you know, I make these up in advance and then they can just go on, on whatever. And what I've done, because I use those, those are quite co coordinated actually, those four pieces of paper. And what I do with those, is the bits that you cut that are left but left behind so I alternate them through the colours so they all still go together but they've all got different tie backs on there we go let's see which again just adds a bit of interest that's those I've done those then I made this as an envelope and I'm gonna oh, I should most probably make that into a booklet so because I haven't, um, I'm going to do this journal, one of my digi kits later on, so I thought I'd make it up, but I didn't want to put any anything inside yet, because I haven't printed any of the other pages, so I just thought I'd do the front, so that's ready, and then all I'll do is put some pages in and sew it down there, and you've got nice little tuck spots, you cut the ends of the envelopes off, you've got nice pockets, that's that, and then I've done some little bags, uh, some scrap bits lying around, these are all bits and pieces in there, again that's just a load of pieces of paper stitched together, made a little booklet there, all bits of ephemera lying around, a large tag here, and that's a grassine bag, so that's that one. And I did one out of some brown paper. That's um, brown tish, um, baking paper, that one. So I just made made that up first. So I actually got a little tuck spot at the back there, but I usually um, glue them down anyway. Again, another little layered effect with some odd bits of paper. And then like do that and stamp it. That's ready to go in. And I've done some little pockets that's a jelly bean pocket it's a library card made out of other book pages which is like Patricia Veramonte does those she's got some really good tutorials on those very good it's the same as Crafty Irina and the paper clips the decorated paper clips brilliant so I'd hop over to their channels and have a look at their tutorials for those. Um, again, some just decoupage put on a library pocket made out of book pages. Another one here. These are going to be tuck spots. I've just put napkins over the top and aged them a bit. Little piece of paper which I made. Little envelope out of. And some tags. These are literally just hanging around, so made some little bits and pieces. Oh, even made a little tag to go in there, look. There we go. That's that. And one of those out of some music paper. And then I made some little tiny envelopes. Little babby ones. And, um, oh, that's a really good thing, actually. If anybody has got the memory boards, the... Uh, the We Are Memory Keepers punch boards. There's actually an app that you can download. Um, it's the best app I found is the one two three board, but it's, it's identical for the boards and 
identical for your other boards as well. I think there's other makes out there, but it works for that as well. And you can literally type in the card, the size of your card, it can be smaller than an inch, and it'll tell you what size paper you need and where to score. So it's absolutely brilliant. So you don't have to work anything out because on the board it doesn't, I, don't, I think the envelopes, the first, the smallest envelope is quite big. So you can make all these little envelopes up. And what I do, I make up little, I haven't got any in there, I've got one in here, make up little booklets to go inside like this again. And just stitch them down the middle normally. And then they tuck in your little envelopes nice little addition to any of your journals and again another one there that I've done a bit bigger all your scrap pieces that's those oh, another one as well so they're all handy so that's it actually I think that's all I've done so far yeah Definitely, but I'm going to say I'll do a little um, tutorial on a couple of the embellishments just to, to help beginners because I know it's quite daunting when you see things that are all made and you think, oh, I only really wish I could do it, but you can do it. You really can. It's it's um, Once you get into it, don't worry. Just, just look at something and see. If you see something on like Pinterest and places like that and you think, well, oh, I really like that, okay. Uh, snapshot it or you know and, and look at it and see why you like it you know and ask yourself why do I like that and it's normally because it's it's balanced you know there's a way of balancing things when you make things to make them look good you know and I think you know, sometimes I do things and I thought oh that's really not worked you know and I look at it and I think oh cool yeah because that's in the wrong place and this is in the wrong place you know it, it is all to do with how your eye looks at something you know and each thing you make should have a, a, a center point you know and it's it's the same as the um what do you call it the grid you know the three lines going down the, and if you work from that same as photography you you find that it does help you know in all your creating all your all your layouts and everything so yeah that's enough chit chat so i shall get off now and hopefully speak to you all soon and thank you very much for all your support it's been absolutely wonderful bye for now